It has a tiny red line in the middle. It is a long glass tube with a white inside. It has Celsius and Fahrenheit on both sides. It is a tiny silver cap at the bottom. It was obviously a gift from a special fair. It's got those like really pretty flowers painted around. It has a little crack at the top, and some of the red has come out, and there's a footprint inside of it. Yeah, and the footprint uh, says Skechers. <laughs> it's a very tiny Skechers. <laughs> It, fortunately, it's that annoying shatter for sending the glass actually breaking out, so it makes it hard to read some of the numbers. And the number is like, so the 35 looks like a 30, and the 42 now, uh, so it uh, looks uh, like a 40. But it still works, just like a cracked iPhone or something. Yeah, yeah. And then you can't really read it, you can see that it might have maybe been like 95 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's mounted on a tiny piece of wood that has beveled edges. And the uh, flowers are, are beautiful, uh, Pinkish, and then we have some blue over here on the outside. Yeah, the flowers are, are local flowers to the location of this thermometer, which is New Jersey. <laughs> it's a nice fair. <laughs> you are <coughs> informational. You are constant. Even when you break, you still tell me what I need to know. You are mostly functional. You are local to the garden state. You are a great memory from a road trip. You are sort of biohazardous. <laughs> but you're such a treasurer. I like that I can read Fahrenheit versus Celsius. Still don't get that conversion. But, I, but I you're still a little dangerous, though. You're not quite for children. You're irreplaceable. I remember being afraid of breaking you growing up mm -hmm. in the house in New Jersey where I lived. Mm -hmm. Your flowers are a little contrived, but pretty. You're clearly a artisan main, or in other words, not so professionally painted. You look like you used to keep the flowers at a nice, even temperature. You're a fun juxtaposition of something really pretty and uh, a dangerous chemical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't even remember how it broke since it's supposed to be mounted. Thou art a confusing instrument. Thou art a measure of hotness and cold. Thou art danger and in one beautiful package. Thou art busted and broken. Thou art an attempt to hold him within the god Mercury. Thou art a mental memory. Thou art <coughs> irreplaceable, despite no longer functioning to its full capacity. Thou art a flower and tool, which helps thee set thy tone for the day. Thou art my first introduction into the age of information and data. <laughs> Thou art a hazard to my health. Thou art an homage to New Jersey. As the heat riseth, thy beauty riseth in turn. <laughs> I am measured. I am hot. I am shattered. I am hazardous. I am perfectly safe. I am busted. I am constant. I am reliable. I am elemental. I am thermometer! I'm just looking at all of our measurements and it seems that something's off, Watson! Something's off, Jenkins! I knew she'd catch it eventually. It seems that the measurement, no, no, nothing's going right. This is not what we expected to happen. No, no. Smith, you're signet. Significant figures are wrong. <coughs> My figures, they can't be wrong. They can't be wrong. I'm never wrong. Look, it's the look, look. She's buying. No, no, no. This is true. <laughs> if, if we don't get this right, then for some reason the, the parade, the parade will just if we don't get our measurements right, then the float will just float away. No, no, it's not going to float away. Macy's is gonna fire us, you guys, if we fuck up these <laughs> balloon measurements. We're what are you saying? That somebody accidentally replaced the helium in the balloons with super helium? Because that's not a thing. I didn't. I never considered that. But maybe that's what happened. Let me see. No, that's not what happened. See, there's a better element than helium. Well, yeah, everyone knows that super helium is better, but that's what Macy's makes us use helium, guys. We can't fuck around with the we, measurements. We double checked your work, and we thought it could have been better. I'm sorry. For the record, 
It was all Watson's idea. I was totally against it. I think that you're a genius. I think that no one has revolutionized the float world like you have. You you're guys, a genius. Are you, you're just a, a capable of so much more. Are you saying to me right now that someone has planted misinformation and it's going to be my fault that the balloons fly away? Well, if, you, if by misinformation you mean super helium, yes. And if by your fault you mean you're going to get fired, I'll blame you. Guys, this is my career. I have built my whole life. Sorry. How could you do this it's to me? It's gonna work. How could you do this to me? It's gonna work. It's... We just, we just think it needed some extra pizzazz, and it looks so much better. It hangs so much better. Even if it is gonna float away, at least it'll float away and with dignity. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> Center. Can we please stop at one of those souvenir stores? Now, honey. Please. Please. Daddy. Please. I, I just, I, I can't say no to you guys. I just, <laughs> JD is so excited. I've never been to a souvenir store before, Dad. Oh, well. <laughs> there's really not that much there. It's. it's it's not really that exciting. Oh, it's stop just it. a bunch of shirts Daddy. with the word of the place you're at. But Denny, you, <laughs> you know this family has never crossed state lines before. I know, and when I told you guys today was the day, I was not kidding. I mean, we're doing it. We're, oh, which line are we going to cross, Daddy? Yeah. Where are we gonna go, Daddy? We're going to Pennsylvania. <gasps> Miles. Oh, I should buckle up. That's so good to hear. Buckle up. I really should have been on. I'm ready. You should probably buckle up too, dear. Just we don't get to go out in the car much. So no, we don't get it at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about you guys. You know, I'm worried that you can't handle. It, you know? It's it's hard. I've never seen that kind of trip before. It's coming out of the ground. Oh God. <laughs> oh, Danny, this was a great idea. Yeah, I know. And, and when we get to Pennsylvania, we'll get out, we'll look around for 30 seconds, we'll get back in, we'll drive back, okay? Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be anywhere but the Garden State at night. A whole 30 seconds, Dad? In Pennsylvania? 30, 30 seconds! But you have to hold hands the whole time, all right? I don't, I don't want some Pennsylvanian grabbing you. Oh, oh the Pennsylvanians mean, Danny? Oh, they're very mean. Oh, no! Taking this to a dangerous place where there's mean pencil They're not, It's not a dangerous place. It's just I I can't really trust them because they're, they're not they're not Jersey. Guys, Daddy, you know? they're not. Daddy, we're bringing our child into an unsafe. You know what? Like, you know what? When we go to the beach and I tell you not to look at, at the tourists, you know, it's like I just do. stick to the people who know the shore. Don't look them in the that's, eyes. That's kind of what this is like, except. I still want you guys to be excited about this. I'm okay? totally excited, but yeah. isn't Dracula from Pennsylvania, Dad? Um, yeah, I think so. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ding! I want you the very one! Because I love you. Thanks. Can I hug it now so that it can get warm? Oh, sure. Oh, thank you. Uh, well dig that, you pull the giant hammer. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you coming to the Winter Carnival with me. Yeah. Huh? It was the least that I could do after, you know, after I, you saved me from that horrible car wreck yesterday. What? <laughs> <laughs> you really need to learn how to signal. I saw it. But when I saw your poor, crumpled body in that car, Chris, that it was just, you know, you're so helpless, I had to pull you out, and and I just wanted to cheer you up. Oh, I'm sorry, the PTSD. It'll be okay. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. I just, you know, I see you coming at me. I can think of an 18 wheeler coming at me. Excuse me. Uh, you're I really you close would like right to, now. I would, I would like to ride the Tunnel of Love. We have so, an open car. Oh. I can see you right now. Did you say car? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, it does, yeah. It just goes do through the tracks. Do you have a Tunnel of Love bench? <laughs> huh. Oh. Right this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bench. 
It's a bench and not a car. It's, it's not it's a like car. Like a bench and a truck, like a truck bench seat. We'll be driving it from the booth. We'll be driving? Yes. yes. No. It's me and Teddy. Teddy? May I see Teddy? Uh, um. Hold on. Hold on. It's called Sherry. It's called Sherry. Hey, buddy. Don't we miss sitting down together? Uh -huh. Teddy misses love sitting with you. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna sit on the bench. Well, if Teddy says it's okay. Oh, good. I'm sorry, we have to get the ride right? started here. I'm just gonna time for this guy's crisis, started. all right? I'm on a date. All right, everyone, enjoy your ride on the tunnel of love. So, look, isn't this a fun ride with Teddy? Teddy loves you this much. That's a lot. That is a lot. Now, Teddy loves you this much. Honey, this is I think weird. that means you can sit on this ride and come to terms with the traumatic issue that happened yesterday. Do, 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 do. Can you probably do that. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, honey, look at that. <laughs> it would be so much more romantic if there wasn't all that baby talk from those weirdos. I know. Teddy says, shut the hell up and start working some issues with his good friend slash lover. What did that bear just say to me? <laughs> hey, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. hey, bear! <laughs> Teddy, <laughs> show it! No, Teddy's got it, don't worry. Okay, Teddy says, we are trying to get the bear to communicate issues. That's nice. Wow, that is nice. Teddy says your wife can use bigger things. <laughs> what did Teddy say about my wife? What? Hey, what did you say about my wife? Teddy, I'm so sorry. Listen, bear, I will rip your stuffing out from inside you, all right? Excuse me, Teddy is a therapeutic device that things come out and it's just part of the process. I'm gonna therapeutic call that Teddy in a minute. Yeah! I'm gonna see you travel. Ooh, I'm so sorry. See, Tunnel look, look right Teddy is sitting in this car. It's pretty strong. It kind of makes me brave, too. We are yeah, you get me, you get me, you get me, you get me, yeah. Don't you feel brave like Teddy? I'm not gonna be going anywhere for about half an hour. Are you kidding? <laughs> so uh, just for a B rhyming to pick up more functions, uh, we're gonna be sitting here for the next twenty minutes. Um, Wait, is something wrong? We are working on the issue as soon as possible. Can you hear me? Uh, it's just a basic. Uh, <laughs> no, buddy, it's okay. It's a basic breakdown. Don't worry. Are you okay? Not a big deal. I kind of really hate super helium. I just 
doesn't make sense. It's got to get on my arms. <coughs> you should be in the atmosphere by now. I should. I've been working out. Holding 30, 30 helium balloons. Yeah, I'm only holding two. I hope it's okay that we... You're the control subject, so you're supposed to stay here. But you should be... This doesn't make sense. <coughs> Kyle, did you, did you eat some of the helium? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the surrender helium? Yes, he suggested uh, a full quart of super helium. <laughs> Everything's going according while I see he's floating. I don't see other people in the air. Uh, something about my significant figures? 15, 15 seconds. 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, uh, oh my God. We have either 15 seconds or 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Is this chocolate factory rules? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, release gaps, will I go down? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> like in Charlie the Chocolate Factory. Oh, yeah, like if you survive, then you take control of my No, you don't get my research. No. Oh, but if I let gas go, I'll, I'll go down. I'm going to go ahead and go over here for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you can try it. How much are you getting paid to be a test subject? You're getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, intern. I'll be honest, guys. They really just gave me like a full barrel of the stuff and just said, hey, go crazy with it. See what you can do. Why don't we all drink? <laughs> you know, let's, you know, screw balloons. I'm doing this shit. Ah, oh, Christ. Well, look, just, guys, I, just Oh my God. <laughs> guys, you gotta try this. Are you high on super healing? I, I'm getting higher and higher. <laughs> oh hey, my God. Hey, come back. Start oh, burping or something. Don't let Mr. Wampa see you. <laughs> guys, I, guys, I, it's, got, it's already hard to breathe. Griff, good yes, job, sir. good job. Thank you, sir. Interest. Hot. Ew. You've Ew. got uh, 14 minutes and 50 seconds. I'm going on base 10, not 60 second increments, all right? <laughs> Mr. Wonka, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you about the never ending gobstoppers. Okay, <laughs> all right, so we trade know. secret. We know, okay. Oh, it's, you're alive. Yeah, I, it smells really bad there now, but <laughs> I'm here. Oh, 
Is this a man with an accent? He has nothing to do. He's got a big gash mark right there in his neck. That is okay. He's bleeding down his shirt. That if you is. become bitten in Pennsylvania, you may become one of the Pennsylvania. God damn it, Bert! Oh, oh my God, we should have done it. Suddenly, I just ordered a soft pretzel. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Bill, 
Yeah. You're the GM of this town. You are, Bill. <coughs> that saying something, because there's a broken down GM factory just down the street. That's right, but I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's so cool. Bill for mayor. Bill's yeah. got a great idea. Bill. How can we get our travelers? Why can't it be Traveler's Week, not Traveler Day? Yeah. It's usually the lead. But what if they didn't leave? So what if we make them stay? Steve, you have a bottle upstairs, Steve. I don't want to ruin everyone's good time. The last, last Traveler's Day, you know, I've got that really quaint little soda shop it's with the malts great. and stuff. Oh, yeah, you've got three different yeah. kinds of soda. Yeah, it's I've great. had several root beer floats there. <laughs> <laughs> sure have, Bill. A, a bunch of travelers <laughs> came in and they started, they started to drink all the malts and they put the big mess and I just felt like bleeding. I just, oh, then I'm then sorry, I didn't want to ruin everyone's good time. Well, then damn nasty travelers, they come in and use my bathroom. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but I... Me and my boys were putting out fires all last Traveler's Day. Well, it's funny that you mentioned it, the Traveler, they did kind of sully the bedroom, if you know what I mean. You know what they did in my cafe? They unwrapped their straws and they just leave the wrappers all willy-nilly. Ah! No, no one came to Denny's. Not a single one of them. I, I sat there with my Grand Slam. I, I dressed up as one. You had that really nice apron on with the burgers all over it. Yeah. Oh, and no one came. That all right, there was a sex crime in the room. I'll stay. It looked like there was a sex crime. Was there a sex crime? Was there? You said was. Then looked like. It looked like, like a sex crime. We've never had a sex crime in this town. We've never had a sex crime. Sex is against the law in this town. That's right. That's right. That's why Every oh. sex is a crime. That's why we all had ourselves Ken. <laughs> but what if, what if we have a, a sex floating parade where there's one float going down the street where it's only people having sex on it, and that's the only place you can have it. We can that last a week. A conjugal float. What a conjugal float. float. We can get the mayor to endorse it. The mayor, yeah. Yeah. mayor Bill. Mayor Bill. What do you say? What should we call it, Bill? We'll call it Sex Float Parade Day. <laughs> last week, depending on the time frame. Yeah. <laughs> and we can all go have a grand slam in the Playtime, Teddy. Mitch has freckles. 